Hey everybody, welcome back to Blue Z Water Channel. It's Chris here with our founding practitioner, Andrew Scheim. Today we wanted to discuss the five Tibetan rites, a yoga practice that can help rejuvenate your chakras. Um, Andrew has been doing this, I've done it before. We just want to kind of go over um, the rites and then give you a quick uh, link to a video showing somebody actually doing it. So why don't you talk about it, Andrew, and why it's so great? Okay, thank you. Uh, <clears throat> The Five Tibetan Rites is a very interesting uh, practice for, as you mentioned, chakra rejuvenation. And uh, it was the uh, teaching came out of a book called The Ancient Secret of the Fountain of Youth, written by a gentleman called Peter Kelder. And whether the story is true or not, it's a very interesting read. And this, this uh, British colonel talks about pretty much falling apart part and then taking a trip to Tibet and discovering this yoga practice and turning into a very young man. Um, but the rites have recommended in various uh, teachings and uh, one of the teachers I uh, briefly studied with taught a system called pranic healing and he mentions the, the five Tibetan rites. Anyhow, just I want to briefly go over the, the idea of chakras and how important and what they are and why they're so important and this will give you a better understanding why to do this practice. The uh, chakra system, you can think of it as um, basically if people have studied chakras, they're, they're energy centers in the body with that have like a tornado-like movement. They're, they're spinning vortexes, you might call them. And when we're young, these, these spinning vortexes are moving quite r rapidly, and, and that's a sign, basically, of being young, is these chakras are moving quite intensively. And one way to think of the chakras is they're really processing energy centers. They process a huge amount. We talk about subconscious information. And in the Hopo Onopono teachings that we mention frequently, they talk about the fact that there's millions of pieces of data going through our, our subconscious per second, literally. So the ability to process all this information really has to happen at a quantum level. And they always talk about in the Hopopono turning over this information to divinity to get clean. So really to try to go at it at the rate that our normal consciousness functions is just it's impossible you it's like having the slowest processor on the planet trying to process huge amounts of data our computers have gotten quite fast processing enormous amounts of data so the chakras are really those quantum processors you might think of that, them as that and and really this is very intuitive that's why it's a meditative practice and you don't know what's going on when the, when you're efficiently processing except that you feel really good and basically what we're teaching you is how to open the doors to the subconscious and get this information processed. So one way to do this, is, especially if you're getting older, is to get those processes back to a much more functional speed and balance. Not only do they have to go at a faster rate, like faster CPU speed, but literally it's like having a bunch of processors in one computer and they all have to line up and work together. So when you do the five Tibetan rites, you're definitely increasing the, the rate of the speed of the chakras and you're distributing the energy throughout the entire chakra system. You're getting the work together. So basically the first rite is spinning. And what you're basically doing is spinning clockwise to literally get the vortex energy moving at, at a higher rate. And you work up slowly doing this practice, by the way, because if you intensify the spin of the, you can't, you, you have to sort of gradually get back to that higher rate of spin. The rest of the movements, which we'll show in the video below, are ways to get that energy distributed up through the chakra system. So, you know, take a look at the video. I want to just emphasize one other key point. I stopped doing the rights for a number of years for one specific reason. When you increase the rate of this energy, and this goes to my practice, um, you're trying to bring in new energy. And the problem with most of us is we have a lot of old dead energy that really needs to come out. So the practice doesn't really have a way to clean out per se 
old stuck memories that we talk about all the time. And therefore, if you're trying to bring new energy, but you're not removing the old energy, there can be a conflict. And this is very interesting too. The, the Sufis, the whirling dervishes, <clears throat> they spin in a counterclockwise direction for the very purpose of emptying out the vessel, for actually cleaning. They use a negative spin. And in the five rites, they're using a positive spin. Now, the, in the system of pranic healing, they talk, They have a system where essentially they will do a negative spin. It's, a, it's something they do with their hands. But if they're on a chakra, they'll actually unwind it first to pull out toxic energy, do a drying out negative spin with the hand, and then they'll put in new energy with a positive spin. So if you have a lot of subconscious stress, I th it's real important to look at our other practices we teach and learn how to effectively clean or empty the vessel. And, and then, then once you're effectively doing that, now you can work at increasing the level of prana or vital core energy doing the five rites. So if you've done the rites and struggle with that issue, it's really important to understand you need a cleaning practice to go along with the five Tibetan rites. And some people I know will actually spin negatively doing the five rites, but personally, you know, I feel if you could do some other cleaning practice and then do the five rites the way it's taught, uh, and you, you know, then then I think you'll benefit more. So, so it's it's a very uh, interesting teaching about chakras and how they work in, in electroacupuncture, which I do in my practice. Most of the time, it has a positive and negative polarity, same thing. One's a negative spin and one's a positive spin. Most of the time I'm running in a negative spin. Most of the problems with my clients is not, is not the lack of energy, but the blockages, the blocks in the body that literally won't let the energy through. Now it is true when we get older that our vital core energy does diminish, but really what's killing most of us is the blocks, the blocks, the blocks, the blocks. So I will emphasize Number one, learn how to clean. Learn how to remove those blocks, both physically and spiritually doing practices. And please review our vibration series videos that teaches you how to shake off these traumas. I think the five rights is a great complement with the vibration series, doing the vibration therapy, and also the breathing practice we teach. So if you put those two together, the cleaning, and then in, uh, getting older, you wanna get those that core energy moving, then, then you're really getting a powerful combination of chakra and, and, uh, and subconscious work. Definitely, guys. Check it out. We're going to post the uh, five rights here in the description so you can check out how it's done. Um, and stay tuned for some other helpful hints and, and how you can really help yourself, guys. Thanks, Andrew, for all that information. You're welcome.